clearly not the result you wanted, Ollie, but does the last sort of half an hour of the game give you encouragement going forward? I think we, um, on one, at 1-0 one down, uh, the reaction was really good. Of course, the first 10 minutes, second half, they push, pushed us back. Sometimes that happens against good teams, but we have a keeper who played well or fantastic. Uh, we had uh, defenders who did a job. And we got back into the game, we created chances, big chances, we created pressure, we created transitions. Uh, then the final ball or the final finish or the final cross wasn't good enough. But second half, uh, yeah, as you said, the last half an hour, uh, very good. I think they, they played better first half uh, and also in first five to ten minutes second half. but. Um, after that, we we, gave, we had control of the game we, on the pitch. We felt that we are in the game, we can score, we can create. And I think we, we played some good football last 35, 40 minutes. So we were better side, but it's hard. If you don't score the goal against this kind of teams, it's hard to to, to draw or to win. So I'm, I'm sure that our staff will analyze everything and that last 35 minutes our model how we have to play against strong teams so with the last 35 minutes i'm very happy uh, i think that everyone on the pitch from our team they we felt that that we are there we we, we are in control in completely control uh, so that's the model how we we should play always against top teams and to score goals I suppose you'll be disappointed with the, the, the way the first goal was conceded from the set piece. Every time you, you concede from a set piece, you are disappointed. We know he's a big lad, good in here. Uh, we gave him just a little bit of uh, too much space. The block was there and we didn't get up against him. So, disappointed with that one. A couple of big chances. One for Anthony. He, he, he's such a good finisher. You'd be, huh. it'll be, he'll be disappointed with that, I'm sure. Yeah, but then, you know, the way we created chances second half. The, and, the, and the chance in, just before half time as well with Andy. With great cross, uh, diagonal pass, Aaron's back post, square pass to, to Andy, that's a great chance. Loads of opportunities when we attack quickly, we got at them, drove at them, because you know they're, they're a direct team, they're very, very direct, play many long balls, put you under pressure. If you win the first one, normally they go and win the second ball, but I thought we won so many of them. Fred was a Nemanja, very good in there. We released players, we got at them. Uh, but then the last pass, last finish, didn't happen on those moments. Uh, towards the end, last 10-15, I thought we'd really put pressure on them, played them deep, uh, but we weren't wide enough. We didn't create overloads down the sides to get the quality crossing. Great chance in the second half for Anthony. You, you really wanted the ball to fall to him because he's usually obviously such a great finisher, isn't he? Yeah, I think that uh, yeah he he had a great action one to I don't know with Andrea so so I think he he tried to give his best to score. Uh, we also had one great chance uh, from Andreas in the first half. As I said, we have to use this uh, these chances because against top teams you you can create three or four uh, for the game. At least you have to use one. So if you don't score, this can happen. And I think that they deserve. They deserve. If you see all game, they deserve to win. But uh, yeah, the last 35 minutes, uh, we we, have, we can see it has a has a good part of our game. We we sort of picked out Fred in the commentary. I mean, yeah. now and then wow. in his United career, he's had criticism. <laughs> but now, I mean, he's absolutely superb in the heart of midfield. Top top performance. He is absolutely. Uh, uh, yeah, all the supporters can see now why uh, why we believe in him. Uh, he's, he covers every blade of uh, grass on the pitch, wins challenges. Of course, he's more confident on the ball. Very pleased with Fred. Very, very. And of course, I felt David. He, he had to make two or three saves today to, and he, he made them. But well, you and Fred seem to have a real grip on the midfield in, in the second half. Are you happy with the way that sort of partnership is, is working out? It's great to play next to him. Uh, Fred had, I think, he, Fred had a great game today. He gave always his best, fighting for the team. Exactly the same what I'm trying, <coughs> what I'm doing, and uh, we will continue to do our work. And uh, yeah, that's it. Keep fighting, working every day for this club until the end.
the games come quickly, don't they? There's another one in a few days. Is that good? The fact yeah, that you can get it out of the system. It's good. Yeah, it's good when you in three days you have chance to to show that you you are better than this. Uh, but as I said, I, if someone say that we are completely played bad this game, I do not agree because against the, probably the best team, not probably, for sure the best team in the league, in the last 35 minutes we, we played better, we controlled, we, we felt that we, we are there to score. So we have to keep doing exactly that. Finally, how tricky is it for you? Because you've got th probably three big players missing. For when Scott and uh, and Paul obviously now Dan Marcus, how tricky is it with the, the games just keep keep coming? Of course, you can't use that as an excuse, but it's a, it's a bit of an explanation. Of course, there are three of our top players that we uh, we miss, and today maybe you you can say there's a little bit of quality there, and we uh, would get get a point or maybe even challenge to win the game. So we'll keep on working. Players are giving absolutely everything they've got. Uh, very very pleased with the with the attitude and character in the team.